As we start this ceremony, it's impossible to not acknowledge that everyone that Eric and Liz wanted to be here can't be. And while this is a sad reality, uh, I think it's given Eric and Liz and all of us a special opportunity. Um, and that is an opportunity to focus on them and their love. This current situation forces us to really appreciate those that we love and the time that we do get to spend with them. And while we have the opportunity to focus on Eric and Liz and their love, today is about more than just their love for each other. Today we don't just celebrate the unity of two people, we celebrate the unity of four. Today we are here to celebrate this family, this beautiful blended family. Here we are, finally the day of our wedding. After being together for 1,127 days, we can finally become husband and wife. This is also the last Friday we will ever wake up, even though separate and not a married couple. Looking back on these last 1,127 days, I could definitely say so much has happened in our lives, but from the moment I met you, I knew you were different. I can remember driving home from our second date in the pouring rain, yet I was floating on cloud nine. Something inside of me knew you were the one. You were the one I was meant to be with and you were the one that I want to be with. You are exactly who I am looking for. You are special. I have thought about this day ever since I fell in love with you, ever since I had the slightest thought that you and I would turn into something more. I guess right, because here we are on our wedding day. Between our good times and our bad times, we still came out on top and it was only for the best because after today, I will have the honor and privilege to call you my husband. I hope you were just as ready as I am. Sure, it is a little scary, but life is scary. Chances are scary. You just roll with it. We will have each other, and that's the most important thing. Marriage can be one of the best things in life. The fact that I get to marry you makes me smile on the inside and out. I'm having the same butterflies today as when I was sneaking onto your back porch to leave you beach towels for your Mississippi River trip. I can promise you that I am yours, and that I will love you in sickness and health, in richer or poorer, until death do us part. This is what you do when you truly love someone. You stand by them no matter what, and that is what I am planning on doing. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives together, and the best times are yet to come. The best memories are yet to be made, and I cannot wait for it to be with you. Eric and Liz have chosen a traditional hand fasting ceremony to symbolizing their entering into a bond of marriage. In the history of some ancient Celtic traditions, weddings were celebrated by a simple ceremony in which couples would join hands, crossing their arms to form an infinity circle tied together with ribbons. This would represent the binding together of the two individual lives coming together as one, it is where you hear the expression, tying the knot. Today, Liz and Eric have chosen an adaptation of the hand fasting ceremony, not only to symbolize their marriage, but along with Brooke and Mackenzie, represent the blended family they are about to come.
My heart's racing. And now, by the power invested in me by the state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Eric, you may now kiss your bride. Hi. Oh my gosh. My bride. wanted to be a cashier and we'll all remember that that Christmas when she got her first cash register and she became a cash cashier it was so special but she went to all the dances and all dressed up and she was in palms college wasn't for Lizzie and she went to work for Airtran it's still hard for me to imagine her loading planes or guiding those planes in Unfortunately, when she needed a father, I wasn't there for her. Not all of her choices were the best, but she persevered, and two young, amazing children, Mackenzie and Brooke, 
are here today. She wanted a better life and didn't give up trying and eventually met Eric. Mary Beth and I still pinch ourselves because he seems too good to be true. But we're here tonight and a new chapter has begun for Eric and now Liz. No more Lizzie. <laughs> Mackenzie and Brooke. And we're here to wish them well and congratulate them as they begin a new life. We love you. Hearing these wonderful things about our son is really very cool. Um, and a few years back, he was not a happy person. And when he met Liz, he told me that he didn't know what happiness was until he met her. And so that was a really neat thing to hear him say. So just wanted to thank you for welcoming him into the family. And um, hopefully we can have many family gatherings again. So thank you. Thank you for loving our daughter and our granddaughters. We are so blessed that you have come into their lives and are grateful that you have come into ours. Welcome to the family. Let your love strengthen you in unity and commitment. Let your love anchor you in the most important things in life. Let love carry you whenever the road is a little hard to walk. Let love share your hearts and always be one. Congratulations, and we love you both. Cheers. Here, baby. <laughs> your Here. Heart, long day. It's your heart. Racing. Yeah. It has been a long day. It's been a long couple hours. Your 